Hi guys, so Splatoon 3 Splatfest demo is making its way to Switch very soon indeed. This 12 hour event is going to give us a taster of what we can expect from Splatoon 3 ahead of its launch on the 9th of September. In this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about the Splatoon 3 Splatfest from start and end times to what is actually going to be included in this Splatastic demo. So the Splatfest event is going to begin on Friday August 27th at 9am Pacific Time PT and end at 9pm PT. So the event will last for a duration of 12 hours. If you are unsure what time this will be in your time zone just type 9am PT into Google and it should tell you. Now, although the Splatfest event begins on the 27th, you will actually be able to jump into the demo on the 25th, where you will be limited to the tutorial and some other areas that will let you explore Splatsville. Times are yet to be confirmed for this. Focusing back on the Splatfest event on the 27th though, it's going to be split into two six hour sections. The first half will run from 9am to 3pm and feature the Splatfest battles mode. The second half will run from 3pm to 9pm and feature the tri-colour turf war battles. Now before we dive in further, let's talk requirements and how to get access to the event. So first off, the event is an open demo, so this is available to anyone and everyone, with one caveat that you need a Nintendo Switch, obviously. You will also need a Nintendo Switch online subscription, but fortunately the Splatoon 3 devs have got our back. When you download the Splatfest demo, on the 25th of August you will receive an email that includes a 7 day free trial Nintendo Switch online code, so you won't miss out on all the action. You will be able to redeem the code in the Nintendo eShop. To download the demo is pretty straightforward, if you jump onto your Switch and head over to the Nintendo eShop, you should be able to see the Splatoon 3 Splatfest world premiere on the front page, if not you can just search for it. Once you've downloaded it, it should automatically install, ready for you on the 25th. So that's all the details around the dates, times and what you need to do to get access to the demo. Now let's discuss the actual content, what is going to be included in this demo. So the Splatfest event involves three teams, we have Rock, Paper and Scissors. Rock being led by Shiver, Paper by Fry and Scissors by Big Man. Presumably when you jump into the demo you will be asked which team you want to join. As I mentioned earlier, the two game modes are the Splatfest mode, which is just a normal 4 vs 4 turf war, so whichever team covers the map with the most ink, wins. However, it is going to be important that you try and win as many battles as possible, as the winning team will be given an advantage in the second half of the Splatfest. Speaking of which, the closing 6 hours will feature a different game mode, the Tri-Color Turf War, which will feature all 3 teams and is a 4 vs 2 vs 2 match. Again, the winner is decided by the team that covers the map in the most ink. However, the leading team is going to be the team that have 4 players and they will start in the middle of the map. The other two teams will start either side and it's up to the leading team to defend themselves. Not only this, but there is also going to be an ultra signal that will spawn at different points on the map. The ultra signal can be captured and used to give your team a further advantage. If you manage to activate a signal, your team leader will summon or send something onto the battlefield to help your team ink more turf. Whilst we're on the subject of inking turf, let's discuss the weapons available to us during the Splatfest. According to the page on the Nintendo store, there's going to be a total of 26 weapons to use. Presumably many of these will be weapons we know and love from previous titles. It was confirmed that all basic weapons from Splatoon 2 will be in Splatoon 3. However, there will be some brand new weapons we can get our hands on, such as the Tri-Stringer. Finally, the last two things this demo will feature includes the test range where you can experiment and get to grips with all the weapons and we are also going to be able to put up messages and art in the main Splatsville square. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful. You should now be clear about everything Splatfest related. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But other than that, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications and if you want to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen now or through the link in the description. Okay, thanks guys, bye, bye.